it's interesting to note that Vampire the Masquerade Redemption is the first major title to be written entirely in Java. Now, as we saw at the beginning of the show, Deus Ex is a very ambitious title that blends various genres. And if it has you interested, here's more to look at. It's the review. Deus Ex looks like a first-person shooter and will often play like one, but it is more than that. The game also incorporates many RPG elements to build a vast and plausible interactive world. By the end, the game just avoids easy classification, and that's a good thing. I would recall the form that it isn't. In the game, you play a bionic government agent, J.C. Denton, and you find yourself sent out to perform various missions. Without giving anything away, the story becomes very involved as twists and turns start materializing everywhere. At the beginning of the game, J.C. can use any weapon or item he finds, but he's not very good at much of that. Through completing various mission objectives, you earn skill points, which can be used to augment special abilities and combat skills. Through doing so, you begin to specialize in certain areas at the expense of others. Oh, spider. The gameplay, though, is built around the variety of specialties available, as there are multiple ways to deal with any given situation in the game. You can fight it out with numerous gunmen, or apply your electronic or lockpicking skills to sneak through the multitude of locked doors between you and your goal. This open-ended design for the game is very ambitious, and what's better, that is quite successful. The game has a few issues. The combat is slower than your typical first-person shooter, which may be a problem for the action-oriented. Also, there is little variety in bypassing electronic barriers that stand in the way. Most interesting is the visual aspect of the game. Once upon a time, the Unreal Engine was lauded for its visual quality, but with the exception of a few areas in Day and Day, it's not terribly striking. But the game is primarily about boundless gameplay, and that's where it truly succeeds. It's remarkably long and becomes increasingly evolving. On top of the enticements, we play the game to try out a differently tuned character. For anyone who's tired of the genre standards, Day Attack is a very welcome achievement. GameSpot.com gives it an 8.2 out of 10.